Hello students, this is Miss Diane, and today we're going to be going over the lash firm and the lash and brow tinting. This is my model. I already did my consultation with her, and we're about to begin the prep. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a lint-free square. I'm going to put some makeup remover on it. And I'm going to cleanse the lashes. You can do it with the Lent Free Square. You can get a spoolie and go over them. Or you can use these little mini spoolies. I like these because you can go ahead and use two of them and you can go from the base to the ends and get each individual hair. Okay. Once you've done that, now you can go back, remove the eye makeup and the remover with just a moist and square here, or you can use some moistened Q-tips. Once you're satisfied that you've gotten all the debris and makeup off, then we're gonna go ahead and dry them. Again, you got many choices that you can use. You can use the lint-free squares. You can use dry Q-tips. You can use this little lash fan. Helps with the drying. whatever you choose to use. Now that the lashes are clean, I'm going to go ahead and put the eye pads on. These have a treatment with them. There are some that do not have treatment. You can put your own treatment on, or you can simply just put petroleum jelly for the slide. Okay. I'm going to have my client open her eyes slightly. Open your eyes slightly. And I'm going to want to isolate those bottom lashes. Okay. Let me see, open your eye again and let me make sure I've got them. Yes, okay. I don't want to get any perm solution on the lower lashes. That's why I'm isolating them. Okay, slightly open your eyes there. And there we go. Again, let me see. Let me do this one over again. So you just want to lightly cover them. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. All right, so once we have the eye pads on, those lower lashes are covered, we are done with our prep. Okay, students, we're back. We have the prep done and we're gonna go ahead and start with our lash firming. So first we need to go ahead and get the perm rod on. And I already put some adhesive on there so it would start getting tacky. And we wanna get it close to the 
hairline here. Okay. I'm going to check. It's close. Let me look with this mirror here. It's pretty close. Okay. So now that I got that rod on, I'm going to use some more adhesive on the top of this perm rod. Now this glue I have for this client only. If you're going to use uh, this glue on several clients, then you're going to want to use a disposable wand. Okay, so I believe I got enough adhesive on there. Now I'm going to get my tool here. I like to hold on and support the lid here as I bring those lashes to the adhesive. Take your time. You want to make sure that they're all adhered and that they are all straight. Okay, now I'm going to use the little teeth on here. It's like a little mini comb here. Let me look to make sure I have these on correctly. Okay. You can do a little bit right here. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and then we'll be right back. Hello students, we're back. So we had our model prepped and I went ahead and put the other perm rod on and adhered the lashes to the perm rod. So now we have both of them done and we're ready to go. As you can see, I also put my gloves on because now we're gonna be working with chemicals. So I um, got the perm solution in these little individual proportioned um, packets here. So they have the one, two, and three, and they're already numbered and ready to go. All you have to do is open them up and then put them in one of these little ring holders here, and then you can go ahead and um, apply it. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the product. Okay. 
on the lashes. Again, I like to use these little spoolies, the little mini ones. You can use the larger ones if you like, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, just make sure that you cover everything. Just like with a regular perm, if you don't put solution on it, it's not going to perm. Okay, take your time. You really want to make sure you get it close to that lash line. Okay, so I think I got it pretty much covered. I'm going to use my little mirror there. Check. Okay. And I think I'm just going to hold this here while I do this so I can see. Okay, let me check one more time. Yep, got it pretty good. Got it pretty good. Come over to the side here so I can see. Okay, so there are some of the instructions that said that you can use a little um, saran wrap over the eye. So I went ahead and got some. There are others that say you don't have to. So read your manufacturer's directions and see what they tell you. So we're going to go ahead and leave these on for seven minutes and we'll be back. We're back. It's been seven minutes. I'm going to go ahead and remove the saran wrap. And I'm going to remove the perm solution. And yes, it does smell like perm solution, not as strong, but still has that distinctive scent of perm. So I'm removing it with a Q-tip first. We don't want to use water because water is going to get these lashes to come off the perm rod. So we want to gently remove it. Without using water.
You can see a little bit more right under here. Perfect. One more time. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and apply step two, which is the neutralizer. Okay, and I'm going to use a Q-tip this time. Okay. Let me check. Again, we're going to put two pieces. Sorry about that. I snuck up on it. I'm going to go ahead and put two pieces spring wrap on. And we're going to wait another seven minutes. And we'll be back after the seven minutes. Students, we're back. This is the second step, the neutralizer. It's been seven minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the cellophane and remove the neutralizer. Again, you have several different ways you can remove it. But we cannot use warm water.
So you, you can try all these different ways and then pick one that you like. I really like this little dental mirror, if you will. Um, they have other types. That one was given to me, so I've been using it, and it works great. Okay. We have one more step. This is our moisturizer. Uh, this one says Keratin Booster, so we're going to go ahead and put that on. Alright, we want to go ahead and treat our lashes now. Make sure. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the cellophane on these. Now, this goes for five minutes, not seven. So, we'll see you back in five minutes. We're back students. This is our third step. We're going to go ahead and remove the cellophane strips and we're going to remove the nourishing or moisturizing or keratin boost, whatever your manufacturers call it. We're gonna go ahead and remove that product now. Again, um, now we could use some warm water to rinse this, but I'm going to leave these pads on to do her tinting, her lash tinting. Um, I, when I'm doing both procedures at the same time, I do like to leave the rod on. It makes it easier to clean up after. Um, this shield here protects her eyelid, so it's not going to get stained. So I w I'm going to leave that on. But let me make sure I get all this product off first. Now I did take off my gloves because this is just like a moisturizing treatment for her lashes no harsh chemicals in it so i'm okay to do that all right so i went ahead and removed that treatment um i'm going to go ahead and stop the video now when we come back i will have replaced her ipads with the ipads going underneath her lower lashes now not above hello students now we're ready to go ahead and do the tinting part of the procedures. We're going to tint the lashes and the brows. Um, during the break, I went ahead and I did remove the other pads and put these underneath the lower lashes. And I got some protective cream and went ahead and surrounded the brow here. You could do the top if you want. I don't usually do the top but you could do the top i usually just get the underneath okay but you could do a little bit on the top if you wanted to so that's what i did put the ipads underneath the lashes 
and put some protective cream on. You can see I still have the perm rods on and the lashes adhere to that. That's going to help me when I um, apply the tint. I'm using these two right here. I'm using the bluest black for the lashes and I'm using um, a level three brown for the um, brows, right? Because we don't want black brows and brown lashes. So make sure that you don't mix those two up. When we're doing the lashes, the lashes, um, the time is going to be 10 minutes to leave this on. For the brows, you only need five, uh, five to 10 minutes, 10 if you really wanna make sure you got thick brows you really want them to be dark you um, can leave it on longer so I use these little mini ones here to mix it to mix the product but I think I'm going to go back with a little bit larger q-tip to really get those lashes. And see how much easier it is to do it on the rod? If you're not doing um, the perm, you can go ahead and just put the protective cream on the lids and then do this. Okay, let me make sure I got all the lash. Okay, let's get the other side. And if there's lower lashes, you want to get them, you can. That's all in the consultation with your Quiet. Okay, before I move on to the brows, I'm going to check and make sure that I totally covered the lashes. Let's do a little bit more in this corner. we're going to do the brows. For this one, I am going to stick with this little mini spoolie because her brows are very thin. Okay, so just go ahead and give it an even coating. Alrighty, I think we got it on there. So again, timing, it's going to be 10 minutes for the lashes and 5 to 10 
for the eyebrows. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes to see the final results. Okay, students, we're back. After the 10 minutes, I did put my gloves back on. Um, I didn't have them on during the application with the eyebrows. I figured it was gonna maybe get in the way. Um, so I didn't use them then, but I do have them on now um, to remove the product. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the product. Okay, so let's do the eyebrows first. Let me just go ahead and get the majority of the product off with the Q-tip. Got that smudge there, probably with the gloves here. I got a damp, lent free square here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the lashes. This blue black looks really dark. I'm excited, I can't wait to see. The results here. Okay. Okay, and you can see the lashes being removed from the rod as I'm putting water on them, getting them moist. You can see that the lashes are starting to be removed, loosen up. over it with a towel here. Okay. Now I'm going to get a Q-tip, moistened Q-tip. And I'm going to go underneath that rod. And remove it. So again, 
with a moist Q-tip. Really stuck on there. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm using a larger spoolie. Okay, I'm going to come with another square. I'm removing the gel, I'm removing um, the glue, the tint. I'm gonna make sure we get everything out there. So I'm going to take my time. To make sure I get everything out. Now that I got most of it off, I'm going to go ahead and take off my gloves. They seem to be getting in the way, so I'm going to take them off. U-tip again, all the way around. Check with this mirror here and see if Okay, I'm going to get a couple more Q-tips. Okay, students, I'm back from getting more Q-tips. Um, I really want to make sure that her eye area is clean and free of any dye. Okay. So you keep going back until you don't see any more dye coming off. On the eyebrows. And the last.
my ship. Make sure you get underneath really good. And on top. Okay, I'm not seeing any more dye. So let me go ahead and use a spoolie here to lift those lashes. You're going to remind your client not to wet her lashes or apply mascara for the next 24 hours. After that, she can go ahead and um, do what she normally would do and uh, treat them normal. All right, so we did go ahead and finish cleansing the area. And we're gonna go ahead and have our client now. Let me check one more time. Very good. We're gonna have our client go ahead and slowly open her eyes. There we go, and she's gonna like it. She's got some beautifully curled and um, darker lashes and her brows. You can notice I will be posting a before and after picture. Go ahead and look straight in the camera there. There you go. And you can see a difference. Thank you, Fancy, for being our model today.